And just like yourself, there were certain things that I would have to curb and, you know, not go down that route if I didn't want a bad time to throw them my way. Get a have bad you grade. Experienced, yeah. Yeah. Like, do you, <laughs> can you have, did you have any, any specific experience that happened to you where you decided to, you know, voice your opinion and you clearly were being maneuvered and handled so you couldn't spread that idea a little farther? Oh, yeah, totally. Um, I, in, in a sense, I, I, I almost appreciate, um, getting or I guess uh, making my bones if you will uh in deep blue territory like Washington um yeah because uh I think it's 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 kind of made me a little bit a bit of a stronger uh orator 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 um and uh it's uh, hardened my rhetoric uh I think um in a way that I might not have ever gotten uh, had I if I had 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 a different experience um so <clears throat> Yeah, uh, all throughout high school, uh, and maybe even as far back as as uh, middle school, um, there were times where uh, I just noticed that um, teachers would specifically uh, pin me as the villain in the classroom, um, which was kind of uh, I, I guess the 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 only way that I was able to counteract that it was by um, constantly playing the role of the class clown. Um, yeah, yeah. Which, and I and I think you probably remember that uh, mm-hmm. from yeah, us yeah. going. going to Memories are starting to come in right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so that that sort of uh, I guess mischievous um, uh, nature um, automatically plays well with uh, those who uh, question um, authority um, and would be willing to open their minds to alternative um, sources of of information, or at least not automatically take the uh the presented facts as uh at face value um and so um there were i I think uh the biggest times that i that i noticed that i was i was getting handled was when um i would be given a um uh a a sort of a a trap um, or I'd, I'd be handed a situation where obviously I was having to take the side of evil capitalism or, yeah. um, uh, just whatever wicked, um, villain, uh, we were reading about in English or in history. And, um, I was almost like literally asked to, to defend the bad guys. Uh, and so the only way that you can kind of play that off is by, uh, embracing uh, the childish uh, or the mischievous side and, and just saying like, oh yeah, you know what, maybe I do believe in that. And like, maybe I am a bad person and stuff. And then slowly transition, or I, I guess, uh, uh, what you call it, subtly transition into uh, pr- uh, pivoting to, to the actual issue and stuff. And so yeah. if you're given a paper or if you're um, reading a story about how, um, how uh, guns were used in a mass shooting um, situation and stuff, then uh, it, it, you're kind of obligated to then pivot to uh, the use of the Second Amendment for defending yourself in such a situation. Um, it, it's right. not going to automatically come to everyone, um, and you have to kind of be on guard or, or prepare yourself Um mentally for those sort of challenging situations where you are essentially given the trap of like well if you really believe in uh if you if you think you're such a good person or whatever and if you value human life why would you ever want people to have uh, assault rifles to kill people in schools and stuff Uh, you need to immediately pivot away from that or so and or you should probably uh uh approach that with a, a sense of humor in order to like diffuse the automatic hostility that they're coming at you with. Um, right. And then uh, that, and then pivoting uh, while uh, engaging in the dialogue in good faith um, will automatically flip the tables for the um, agitator, if you will, because then the, your audience will see that they are, that, um, <laughs> that there's an there, there's an agenda there, and that um, you're willing to still meet them in the middle ground with humor, 
as well as um, uh, bring more information to the discussion. And yeah. that, that, that additional information being like how if you were armed or if, a, if teachers were allowed to be armed in classrooms, uh, you wouldn't have to wait for that, um, that critical um, time when, for uh, emerg emergency responders, for cops and paramedics to get to the school. And I think uh, on average, uh, most cities usually uh, were snagging like um, 10 minute times, 10 minute wait times. That's Response. a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. That, that's a lot of people that can get killed while um, schools and while students and teachers are waiting for uh, the cops to finally get there and, and um, hopefully uh, uh, handle the situation. Whereas if, um, uh, my, I think my, grandparents, if not my parents, they lived in a time where in rural schools, kids could casually bring in their hunting rifles and stuff because they were going to go hunting after school or so. Because um, my, my mom grew, grew up in upstate New, New York and uh, in rural, rural New York, and, and my dad grew up in, in Arizona, and where, where that sort of Western or cowboy and hunting uh, as, uh, culture and aesthetic is, is, uh, is, is dominant. Yeah. So I, uh, I think yeah, we we just need to always be aware that uh, sometimes uh, even those who've been given critical positions of power or authority over our children uh, in our schools are going to be engaging in these uh, bad faith dialogues uh, or seeming dialogues when in fact they're they're traps or they're 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 just uh, agenda laced uh, statements. It's yeah. not so much. What do you think about this? It's more just like you're a bad person, and I want to, I want to, I want to embarrass you in front of the entire class, um, yeah. and I hope that you don't have anything to actually um, uh, challenge me with because I have a clear agenda here. All right, thanks for watching this clip from Appropriate Culture. If you want to watch the full episode, go ahead and check out us at appropriateculture.com. You can also check us out on the social media platforms at Appropriate Culture. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.